We out here, boys. First of the year. Weather's finally good, man. It's been... What up, y'all? Happy New Year's. I'm down here in Dallas off of Frankfurt and Preston. Is it Dallas? I'm gonna do some filming for a buddy this morning, some gym stuff. And then I think I'm gonna go fishing for pretty much the first time this year. It's been so rainy in my area that I haven't been getting out and, and very cold. Today's looking sunny. Truck says it's 43 right now. Should only be going up from there. So we're gonna try and get out there to some of these ponds here in a minute. But let me get in here and uh, probably take this hour to two hours and have some fun filming some workouts and then we'll get up to those, uh, we'll get out to the ponds. <laughs> what is the reality? <laughs> Up. I'm just stepping outside. I can't see a dang thing. Let's try and go do some fish and let's hit these ponds. All right, y'all. We just rolled up to the spot off of Preston in this decent neighborhood across the street. Didn't look like there's much parking over there, so I went ahead and parked in this newly developed neighborhood. And it's just a short stroll over there, so join us for the party. And as far as what I got tied on, I got one chatterbait and then I got two Texas rigs. One's a black and blue craw and one's a natural or greenish color mondo worm. As soon as I get across this street, we'll get the GoPro rolling. I think this might be our shot. Dang, dude. This appears to be like really clear. Super clear. Let's throw the chatterbait for half a second. Then I think we'll hit him with the, uh... wow. I don't know if I'm gonna catch anything on this. Natural color would be better, I think. Let's bring it in. Huh. Let's see if it gets any deeper over here. Otherwise, I'm thinking I need to try something different. Black and blue might not be the color for today with how good this water looks. Let me throw the craw for a second. Maybe I should throw a... Oh, do I have a natural bandito bug? Oh, it's game time. Where are they at? There we go. Watermelon red flake. Natural. Haven't even been out fishing in a while. Man. I've never fished this one before though. We've seen it a lot. I've wanted to, but it's in the middle of this nice neighborhood. Even on that fish brain post, the kid said he got kicked out pretty fast. Nothing yet, been about 20 minutes. Uh, I've just been fishing this first body of water right here in the neighborhood, but then beyond that uh, bridge right there, there's the next segment of it, which is more in this community of nice houses and a bunch of warning signs saying, I don't know if they just say don't fish, I'm not gonna look, but I'm pretty sure they say private property, catch and release only. Here we go, this looks a little bit more chatterbaitish. We switched the chatterbait up to the smaller profile, all black and blue, as opposed to that larger profile one with the shad tail, or the lighter colored tail. Just because I've seemed to have a ton of luck with this guy. It's just your typical Z-Man chatterbait. The uh, shimmery shiny deal up there at the front is darker. And then the bait is also darker. The trailer is also a Guggenbait black and blue bandito bug as opposed to that larger swim bait-ish style trailer. And I just seem to have good luck with this and haven't caught any fish in a while. So I want to go with what I'm confident in. And if they miss this, then I just know they're not hungry. Another 10 or 15 minutes went by, nothing in this larger body either, but all I've really fished is kind of this bank right here. So uh, there's a spot a little bit further down I might try. And then I can take the sidewalk down and it looks like there's a third pond and another like tier down and that might be where the big ones are hiding today. There we go. This seems kind of like it. 
black and blue chatterbait, fresh flowing water right in here. I think I'll be waiting to get it. Sick, man, sick. Not bad for the first one of the year, man. I'm excited. A little over three pounds. I'm gonna go ahead and get him back in the water. Let's get back in there. Black and blue chatter bait. And I was a little sketched out because I got the lime green line. I hadn't colored it any with the Sharpie like I like to do. The last like five, three to five feet of your line, get a Sharpie and color it black. That way they don't see it if you're throwing light colored braid like I am without a leader. And uh, I hadn't done that. But this water is pretty murky, so I wasn't as concerned as like the pond up at the front. And uh, man, let's stop talking and get a couple more. GoPro died, so I don't really need that on anymore. Yes! They're hungry! That's the one! That's two and like back to back casts. Okay, we know they're on fire here, but I think I wore them out of the spot. Let's go try the other side of this pond. I've been vlogging for a while. It was bound to happen at some point, I guess. I dropped the camera. Well, I didn't necessarily drop the camera. I had a good hold on the Gorilla Pod, the brand new one that we just bought. And uh, it came out of like, you know, this piece right here. This piece slipped right on back and I hadn't pressed the release button. So, that's a bummer. But anyways, the uh, Joby mic, it snapped off the hot shoe. Sorry about the audio quality if this thing decides not to work anymore because this part right here is kind of messed up. But the camera is working and the lens is good. So, we lucked out. I'm gonna go back to the straight up Texas rigged bandito book. I don't know man. I think I hit them during the lunch hour and now they're back to work or something, so I might just lay off and uh, leave here before I get kicked out so that we can come back and catch more of these lunkers with a few buddies next time. And uh, that way we got more of a chance catching a, a hog in the same amount of time. So I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.